In this video, I will show you how to get a refund from Hostinger. So in order to be able to get a refund from Hostinger, first you will need to cancel all of your hosting plans. So depending on if you want to refund the hosting or your domain, you need to go to billing right here and then just turn off auto renewal for whatever you want a refund for. So for example, here in domains, I have got this domain right here and you want to make sure that auto renewal right here is turned off. Then after you do that, you want to click on the question mark in the top right and then it will say help. Click on that. Now from here, I'm going to click on payments and refunds. Now here, click on I want to get a refund. And now here, click on request a refund. Now there will be a list of paid invoices in the last 30 days. So right here, I have got these two invoices. Now if I want to refund one of them, just click refund right there. So now right here you will see this, so submit whatever it says right here, refund request. So then you can see the services right here. And as you can see, due to Hostinger's refund policy, not all services are refundable. So you can check out their refund policy right there. And here you'll see once a refund request is submitted, it cannot be cancelled. Please ensure you download any necessary backups of your data before submitting a refund request. Then click I understand that all data stored in these services will be lost and cannot be recovered and click next. Now here you can select a refund payment method. So you can either choose to refund it to your hosting or balance so that you can use it again or you can do it to your original payment method. So let's say I want to do it back to my payment method. I'll click on that and then next. And now here you can review your refund request. So you will see the total that will be refunded and they will say please allow four to seven business days for the refund to appear in your account. And then click submit request and now go and click on refund. And now here you can just click on skip and now your refund has been requested successfully and the refund is pending and it will be refunded. So now I can also do this for the other one right here if I also want to refund this one. So again, then you need to go to help and follow the same steps. Now, I only recommend you get a refund if you didn't like their service for some reason and not if you have been using their service and you liked it and then still getting a refund. So now you know how to get a refund from Hostinger. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.